Alright, I was just sure last time they said something went wrong. Alright, um, good afternoon everybody. 207 p.m. Eastern Time on Saturday, August 20th, 2022. And, um, yeah, there's a black panther boat right there, so I can see me looking at I'm just looking at a picture right there, so that's a picture right there. Uh, <clears throat> on this segment, man, we're going to talk about forest. So this will go inside the forest documentary, and that's basically what we are doing, people. We are recording segments to different various separate documentaries and sequels to past documentaries, and you know, it, you know. So we're just doing that, bro, and that way we can talk about whatever and put it in this proper documentary. There's going to be a set a collection of you know content videos with this topic so here we go like that and i just bounce between them because that's that's how i write my books my novels and everything anyway i, I do that so i want to talk for us for a minute because i'm always talking about the art and and like that's really why i wanted to learn how to invest like always wanted to do like business and you can say investing, but like at 18 in my early 20s, I really did not understand the concept of investing. Like I did, I I did a lot of investments, but not of the financial market investing, not that kind of actual capital, free margin, margin call, um, equity, you know, just financial leverage, that whole financial conversion, that whole doing my chart technical analysis, this whole rabbit hole that I've been in for the last four years, exactly, you know, it's, it's been four years, two months, so now it's like, I'm a senior in college, I just graduated, I'm about to graduate, or it's my last year graduating, or it's got to be four years, so it's my fourth year. This is my senior year in college, basically, I haven't graduated yet, right? You don't graduate until four years, or like the whole four years, right? Well, if that's the case, then I just went through my senior year last year. I just went, that's probably why I was so wild and we're getting so many different revelations, man. Like, it takes a while for, at least me, there are going to be other people that have figured out what I figured out way um, sooner than four years. You know, that's a long time. But just the same amount of time as it takes to get a degree in anything you got a degree and if you got a degree if you have just a bachelor's degree you have a degree and it took you four years to get it so what do you say about that you know and if you don't have a good degree then it's like how did that work out for you because it didn't work for me not having a degree and then like i in something for working and then going to work it was because i wasn't meant to do any of that stuff um, if I was going to get a degree in anything, it would have been a filmmaking, but looking back on it now, 10 years, 15 years later, it's actually supposed to be acting. Don't go to school for filmmaking, go for acting. Because it's, it's the job you want, right? What job do you want? The directing, you're going to do that on your own. You are good now. You have a distribution deal as a director. You don't even have to bring up that word now to Hollywood. I want to direct my own film. She know it's like Hollywood's gonna look at me like what's your next film gonna be about that? If you actually gonna affect my chances of getting cast in this role, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just here as an actor, man. If the director wanna holler at me and like actually work with me on that and let me finish, you know, then. That's really good for him because he'll get a lot of clout for doing that, for not being intimidated by me. Just, like, who's going to utilize my contribution, like what I can bring to the craft? Period. Like, I am a lifelong artist. I have a lifelong membership card as an artist. I'm in there. Like, like look how I just slipped through the crack, slipped through the door in Hollywood twice. God gave me a distribution deal as a director. Two months after he gave me a talent agent audition, and I passed it to get accepted into the school to be sent out to auditions. 
for the Saturday to be represented by John Casablanca Studios. Like, the universe is really making me, God is really making me, like, bro, John Casablanca, they signed Cameron Diaz. Bro, bro, ah, bro, I'm Cameron Diaz, bro. I'm Cameron Diaz, bro. I'm Cameron Diaz, bro. It's not gonna be bad, bro. Cameron Diaz is bad, and I'm just bad. Or just, you know, just, ugh, ugh. I'm just disgusting, man. And uh, it's like, 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 as an artist, I've been on stage, you're just gonna say, oh, that was disgusting. If you were an artist, and you had to perform after me, you might throw up. You know? Real talk. Don't do that. You know? Give me the last spot or just the first spot. Just make me the host. Just make me the host, man. So I'm go, you know what I'm saying? That way, I'm not even in competition with my contemporaries. So anyway, so we're going to talk about Forrest, right? All right, so look. These, these, these four years have been an exhilarating wild ride, and we're going to make videos giving stories about that. But let's just try to give you the, the actual strategy that, that we have now. It's like, it took a while for me, right? So let's, let's say, let's say, let's say, I, I'm going I'm to say the strategy in another one. I'm just going to talk, right, for a minute. Let, let this one run out or whatever. But, like, so I could have the strategy in one for segment. And um, so I just say everything else that I need to say. And you say, strategy is good. You, you can say that. Say that, explain that later. Say everything else you need to say besides the strategy. Because, you know, I see you don't really have like, a bad story. Like, okay. Tell me four years. The whole time, that, those same four years, I just made a documentary. My first documentary is about my sexual trauma, right? All right, so if you study sexual trauma, it it will resurface in your mind after a twelve year period, right? So my trauma it started before fifteen, but fifteen was like was like when like a really bad thing happened, and but like all of it was bad, it, like that's the thing. It was just all just like messed up. But I'm at peace with it all. It is what it is, you know. But like for a long time, I was just so angry that that had to happen to me. Like, it was just like, I was just so, I blame myself, I still do. I just like, always know, I'm just like, I know I was a kid, but like, I was supposed to be so smart, like, how could, how could I let that happen? I'm just so mad, so mad. Like, it totally changes who you, like, wanted to become, like, on a, on, on a good level, at least for me, like, as far as, like, I hated what I went through so much, it really bothered me so much, it was like, I can't do anything about that, bro, but moving forward as an adult, I have to be as, like, outstanding as I can be, bro, and just, you know, you know what I'm saying, like, make those days my most flawed days I had as a kid, you know, but growing up, I just wanted to be, like, way, way, you know, just, you know, I got, you know, it is what it is, it is what it is, so I go ahead and I make that documentary, and then it's like, okay, 12 years from 15 to 27, boom, 27, I moved to New York for the first time, come back four months later, that was the trigger, you study your trauma, your sexual trauma, something, there's a catalyst, something pops off, it's the trigger, me moving back to New York, me, me going to New York period, having the best time of my life, right? Like, that's similar to the, when I was 18, I heard about these experiments that the, the Nazis did on the Jew prisoners in World War II Holocaust, right? Boom, them up with. They would do a bunch of experiments, like, they documented all the notes and, like, on the human body that they learned from, from those experiments. And the U.S. government has those notes and hasn't released them. I gotta look it up and try to find them, but... Yeah, bro, Let's see if they ever dropped that, but does anybody know anything about that? But I found out in 2008, like 18, right? Make mention that. I'm like, that's crazy. So look, they had an experiment where they would uh, put a person in boiling hot water, basically, and then dip you in ice freezing water, and just back and forth like that. And just really studying, like, they took side meat stands apart, they put them together, like they did. 
bunch of weird stuff, like, 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 like they put other people together, like, like they did a bunch of weird experiments, and took notes, and the government has them, they won't share the notes, at least back in that day, so, um, that's crazy, right, that shit makes you just die laughing, just as far as, like, the fact that, like, that's so wild that they did that, like, wow, like, what in the world, like, you know, like, laughing because of, like, how I said it, you know, we're talking about podcasts, not funny, but I'm saying, like, that's not normal. They're not talking about that. You know, I was like, that's crazy. So I'm saying the fact that I'm saying it, you know, I'm just putting it out there, it's like, that's funny. It's like, oh, wow, like, it's, it's wow. You know what I'm saying? But that's what I heard. And I, I would think some people would laugh at just the thought of that. Like, wow, like, you see, you're lying. Like, it's unbelievable, right? That's what they're laughing at. It sounds unbelievable. But that's what I heard. Crazy, it's just like what in the world? Like that's the kind of like, like, the government got that information, they just hide it. Like, like you just scoundrels. You, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, are you serious? Like you know, at first they did that. They said no, because the government has them. Like wow. So the fact that I'm putting that on blast, that's what's funny. It's like oh, they're like you know what I'm saying? Like that's what's funny. Like right? you know, it's like that. So um. So that whole time, that whole four year period, bro, I'm actually dealing, nearly dealing with the trauma. So, for the universe to throw in me learning how to trade while I'm dealing with the trauma, I would have to say the trading saved me. It helped me. I'll, I'll get into that. Like, it helped me with the trauma and everything because it helped me realize that I was traumatic. I was having traumatic stress, you know, um, and, uh, and um, from my own stuff. And I'm on the track, traumatized, you know what I'm saying? But I be on the track, mesmerized, just traumatized, like, like, stuff on stupid, like, googly eyes, like, because you're, like, watching the price move against you, right? Because it's like, all right, look, you spend four years, all right, look, it's like this, it's like this. Anybody who understands this, they're going to understand what I'm saying at some point, like, when they are doing it. Like, they understood it. This is me documenting when I finally understood it. I right, look, look, look. Right, it's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke, joke. Look, I right, look. It's, it's a, oh, Marty Mar got a jokey joke. Look, bro. Start out four years, they're next place. All these experienced traders, they're, 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 you know, they're getting, you know, they're getting horny right now. The, the wallets are getting uh, horny. They got horny wallets right now. Horny, horny wallets. Wallets, your wallets are horny, boy. You want some money? You want some money? You want some money? Like, they, you know, like their ears are hurt because I said something that uh, would strike someone as odd, right? If I say that um, I'm trading any asset or commodity and I am not looking at the price, you're going to be like, then what are you looking at, Chad? Yeah, take off, boy. Take off. Burn that rubber, boy. Right? Look. I don't look at the price. I look at the price, I know what the price is. That's cool. Oh, the price is there? That's awesome. Then you go look at the RSI. Oh, wow. That's horrible. That RSI is at 60. But that price looked like it was real good, huh? 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 But it, RSI goes from 60. It doesn't go from 60, but it goes from 70. Over 70. Anything over 70. And then it goes under 30. So once it goes under 30 or over 70, you have to look at other indicators to see when those are done. And then when those are done, they all should come together and all say they are done. But if not, you'll just see that they are done, right? So you're waiting on that one first and then a couple of other ones. So we're going to talk about the couple of other ones here. Like your, the indicators, like, okay, like it took me years to even take the indicators seriously as far as learning which ones to use. I spent the whole four years looking at the indicators and trading off of some of them and learning slowly what some of them do. And you just try to speak their language, learn what they're saying, trial and error, demo account and live account, and just learn what the, dip, um, what the different indicators are saying. And you just want to um, figure that out. So after a while, you start to see some indicators that you are able to speak their language. And then other people start to tell you about the significance of some of the main indicators. And then you realize, as far as investing.com goes, the first four indicators under technical indicators, technical analysis would be the RSI, the stochastic, the stochastic RSI, and the MACD. You know, so the RSI is the relative strength index, the MACD is the moving averages, convergence, divergence, and the stop, stop up. RSI is the stochastic of the 
that's the relative sign. The next. So those are the four main ones. So I would, after that, call them the three or four wise men, depending on which ones you are referring to, or if you're referring to, the, or if you are referring to just the stochastic and the stochastic other side, you would then just say the stochastic twins, or the ghost twins, or the matrix twins. We refer to, we being Isaiah Noble and myself, Hollywood trades, Hollywood, Hollywood trades. Sorry, that's how you say it. So that's it. Man, I got, I got, I got. I'm what? Trades, right? So, <laughs> he's a clown, but that's how you get the cow hype. Pit my crowd, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Hey, Chad Films. Like, real talk, like, if I, if I, if, like, if I said that's how you say my name, then it's like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You. You know? So, I get it. I get it. Crowd pleasing. I get it. I, I, I mean, like that. I just mean, like, you know, like, literally, like, you please, like, <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? It's like the R word. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. So anyway, I right, so you after a few years, you know, at least for me, I started to learn about the different indicators, going four wise men. So it's been the last two years or the four years, kinda, you know, it might not have been the whole two years, but it's at least been one year where like, I know for a fact I was really like can't really remember right now when I really started like um, figuring out the indicators. I know Isaiah kept trying to tell me, and then I, I said, so let's say a year ago for real, like really understanding. Like, okay, it's the first four indicators you're gonna look at the most, and then the other ones that you can speak their language that, that you've been noticing from your observation. It's really just you know, just, I was just making observations of what was going on. So Isaiah would tell me about the RSI, the MACD, how it went. And of course, it's brand new to me. And, and I'm not realizing, like, that is the code. That is the law. It's like, the RSI is not under 30, you're not buying it, right? If the RSI is not over 70, you're not selling it, right? So until until 30, you're selling. Until 70, you're buying. So boom. And from, from that's the proper indicator to look at. That's the proper, that's what that's where you're looking. That's, that's your game plan. That's an awesome game plan. Now, here's the joke. Here's the joke. On what time frame are you placing this trade? Like, what's the time frame you're going to go off of? Boom. Damn. All right. Nothing under four hours. Real talk. It has to be above four hours. That's four hours. That's daily. That's weekly. That's monthly. That's the last four charts. That's the last four charts. That's the last four charts. It's nine charts total. First three charts, no bueno. It's nine charts total. It's like it's, like it's a math thing. It's nine charts total. The first six charts, screw them. Don't even pay attention to them. They'll get you in the game, bro. The first six charts out of nine, screw them off. You want to go off of the last uh, three or four charts. 